You are listening to Torah Treasures, a messianic perspective on the weekly Torah portion, featuring Rabbi Jason Sobel. This week's Torah portion is Parshat Vayetze. What does this week's Parsha teach us about the practice of giving? Genesis chapter 28 verse 22 recounts Jacob's promise to God after hearing the Lord's commitment of fidelity to him. And of all that you give to me, I will surely give to you a tenth. Commenting upon this verse, the Chameitz Hamencha said, Jacob said to the Lord, Only that which I am willing to give one-tenth to charity will remain truly mine entrusted by you to me by virtue of my pledge to tithe it. Untithed wealth is not mine at all, and I will not be able to keep it. One important lesson that we learn from this verse is that the only thing we really have in life is that which we give away. Let me share a story to illustrate. A rabbi once asked his students, If I have $400 in my pocket and I give 120 away, How many dollars do I have left? Simultaneously, his students yelled out, 280. No, the rabbi responded. I only have 120. Seeing the bewildered expressions on his students' faces, he began to explain. Whatever I have in my pocket is here today, but will be gone tomorrow. But whatever I give as a tithe or sadaka charity, that amount is recorded in heaven above and it will be returned to me many times over in the world to come. For in truth, the only thing that we can ultimately hold on to is that which we give away to God and his work. Giving is one of the most godlike acts in the world. Nothing pleases God more than when we give sacrificially. If we want the Lord to bless us with wealth, we must not hoard it, but be willing to give it away on behalf of God. If we want God to bless us and our family with the true taste of Shabbat, the Sabbath, which is a taste of the world to come, we must be willing to give it away by sharing it with others. If we want to experience a revelation of God like Jacob did at Bethel, then we must be willing to pour ourselves out in prayer for the sake of others. When we do so, we reap the spiritual and material rewards in this world and also in the world to come. It is for this reason that observant Jews traditionally set aside tzedakah, charity, before praying. By attuning our hearts to the needs of others, God in His grace becomes more attuned to ours. When all is said and done, the more we learn to give, the more in turn we will receive from the Lord. As Messiah said, Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full. Luke 6:38 Therefore let us emulate Messiah Yeshua who gave himself freely for our benefit